The Springer Spaniel is one of the most popular dog breeds on the planet for very good reason. And here we absolutely love working with Springer Spaniels. Now, in today's video, I wanna hand you over to my breed history expert, who's gonna talk about some fascinating facts about the Springer Spaniel that you may not even be aware of. Number one, they were once considered the same breed as Cockers. Centuries ago, Spaniel types were separated into water and land Spaniels, based on their roles rather than having the distinct names they have today. Later, the water Spaniels fell by the wayside somewhat, and indeed few from this category remain today, and land-based Spaniels became predominant. From these, Spaniels were then later subdivided by their on-land purpose, pointing or flushing. Now, pointing entailed identifying quarry and guiding hunters towards its source, in much the same way as pointer dogs do today. Conversely, flushing entailed diving into the undergrowth and brush to force quarry from its hiding place to be shot or taken down by other dogs. The latter variety were referred to as springers because of how they would spring in game from where it was concealed. But these weren't just the springer spaniels of today. They were any spaniel who would flush game, subdivided only by the size of the prey. So, the smaller dogs who would flush woodcock were called cockers, and the larger type kept the umbrella term of springers. Incidentally, in early shows, dogs would be shown as adolescent dogs under the classification of cocker, and then later in life fully grown as springers, confusing the records hugely. Springers gained official recognition as a separate breed in 1902. Number two, they excel in the show ring. Whilst Spaniels are known by many a Brit as the ultimate in working dogs, who are just as much a part of the great British countryside as the hills and trees and valleys, Springers have actually got an even more verifiably stellar reputation in shows. Whilst Cockers are the most winning dog at Crufts, the other major dog show in the world, Westminster, has Springers taking more of the glory. With seven Best in Show awards to their name, the third highest of any dog breed ever to enter. Their glorious flowing coats, beautifully athletic gait, and a demeanour that both revels in its own beauty and never loses sight of its beloved handler in the ring, has cemented their place in American dog showers' hearts. Only the Scottish Terriers and Wirehead Fox Terriers have taken home more titles at Westminster. Interestingly, at Crufts, they have never won a Best in Show award, since the show's inception in 1928, whilst Cockers have won seven. Considering that they were once the same dog in a different size, it feels like something of an injustice for them. And number three, they're cleverer than Cockers. Cockers might have them beat in British show ring, but Springers win in the brains department. According to the eminent canine psychologist Stanley Corrin, in research conducted in the 90s, both breeds of Spaniel are considered highly intelligent. However, according to the various consulted experts on the trainability and speed of skill acquisition of nearly 180 popular dog breeds in America, the Springer was better than, with its brain than the Cocker. Indeed, Whilst the Cocker was an impressive 20th on the eventual rankings, the Springer pipped him coming in at 13th, with comparable intelligence to the phenomenally trainable and intelligent Belgian Malinois, who ranked in at joint 22nd on the list. Because of their working roles, which would inevitably be immensely varied, depending on the terrain, weather, and handler on the day, Springer's adaptive intelligence and overall versatility needed to be exceptionally good. So it really is no surprise that they came out with such an impressive result in this iconic piece of research into breed-specific cognition. Guys, if you love the Spaniel breeds as much as we do here, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We make videos about the Spaniels every single week, and we can't wait to see you on the next episode.